Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome back to People Who Should Have a Holiday. Today I'm here with Tally and Alondra. In this episode, we're going to talk about Politarpa Salara Vieta, also known as La Pola. This woman is someone I look up to because of her bravery and determination. In my opinion, one of the most important things she has accomplished in her home country, which is Colombia, she took part in gaining independence for everyone who lived there. Yeah, definitely. I heard about that. Her determination completely amazed me because of the fact that she had courage not only to look out for herself, but many other people. Looking out for a whole country takes a lot of confidence, and that's something I really admire about her. It must have taken her a lot to do something as big as that. I completely agree with you guys. And the main reason I think she should have a holiday is because she took part in saving a whole country. And another thing I'd like to add is that we celebrate some people that have done bad, such as Christopher Columbus. The way he treated natives in enslaving and massacring them is crazy to me because more than a handful of people who have done a lot of good things in the world we don't recognize as much as we should i'm with you on that it's really crazy how people who have done terrible things still get recognition because people believe they have done good like alondra said about columbus being celebrated i think columbus day should not be celebrated because of what he's done that is so true. I'm glad you brought that up, Alondra. From what I read about Sala Marieta, she has never done anything like that. And there's no justification for treating people the way Columbus did. Now, let's share some other facts about what Sala Marieta has done that makes her more celebratable. Sala Marieta was a spy who collaborated with the Patriotic Army of the Llanos. Transmitting messages, buying war materials, and summoning other young people to join the cause. She was also a streamist who was integral to the neo grading resistance movement in the early 1800s. While she was alive and after she died, she was an inspiration to many people, and people began to follow her first steps after she passed. That's it for today's episode. We hope you can help us make Salavarieta Day a holiday on her birthday, January 26th. Thank you to my two guest speakers, Callie and Alondra, and thank you to everyone who listened. We greatly appreciate it. Bye!